calibration of your BioPlex instrument, the appearance of an error message stating the device failed to pressurize is often due to a mismatch between the system's saved manufacturing pressure and the sheath pressure achieved during calibration. The BioPlex system is a complex pressurized system. Each time you replace the sheath container, you may introduce a change in system pressure. This is most often detected during calibration, but it's fairly easy to get your system up and running again. First, launch your BioPlex Manager software. Open the Information window and select Device Status tab. The value for sheath pressure should be within 0.1 PSI of the manufacturing pressure. If the difference is greater than 0.1 PSI, here are some things you might look into. Check that the HTF is at least half full. Then switch the HTF off to avoid automatic refill during the following procedure. With the information window still open, run a prime and observe the sheath pressure. If prime cannot be completed, look for and correct any of these issues. Leaks or loose fittings, a full waste bottle, or incorrect placement of the sheath container. If Prime does complete successfully, verify that sheath pressure is now within 0.1 PSI of the manufacturing pressure. If it is, you're done, and you can calibrate the instrument. If not, it will be necessary to adjust the regulator on the HTF to match the sheath pressure with the manufacturing pressure. Turn the regulator screw clockwise to increase pressure and counterclockwise to decrease it. One full turn will change the sheath pressure by approximately 1 PSI. Run another prime to confirm the newly set sheath pressure. Readjust the regulator if necessary and run a prime to confirm. Once the difference in sheath pressure is within 0.1 PSI of the manufacturing pressure, switch the HTF on and verify the flow rate. To do this, put on your gloves and prepare a plate with 250 microliters of water in well A1. Use any bead region for the protocol, set the sample volume to 200 microliters, and the beads count to 1,000 per region. You can collect effluent in a graduated container capable of estimating volume of half a liter. When you start the run, allow the sample to run for about 15 seconds before collection and then start the timer. The sample will run for approximately three and a half minutes. During this time, collect the effluent for two minutes. The volume collected should be between 10.5 to 11.5 milliliters. Your BioPlex system is now ready for calibration and use. We hope this resolved the issue, but at any time you need help with any of your BioRad products, please email us at support at bio-rad.com. <laughs>